Currently, about 75% of patients who are diagnosed with lung cancer are uh, diagnosed with either um, advanced or um, even metastatic disease, and that really limits their treatment options, and the cure rates wind up dropping significantly for more advanced stages of disease. Based on a lot of the work that's been done in uh, other places, including Japan, um, when screening is done, then the patients are all found at an early stage. Um, they're reporting um, cure rates for lung cancer in excess of 90%. So clearly there's a big um, jump in survival when you wind up finding this when the tumors are very small. The current recommendations are to screen patients who've smoked 30 pack years. So when we talk about pack years, that could be three packs a day for 10 years, it could be one pack a day for 30 years. But if you smoked the, uh, that number of uh, pack years of uh, tobacco use, then um, you will qualify uh, based on your smoking uh, history. By age, what we're looking at is patients who are roughly 55 and above, but now that the United States um, Preventive Services Task Force recommendations came out, they included patients from age 55 up to age 79. So for anybody who meets the age criteria and the tobacco use history um, would qualify as somebody who is at least risk for developing a lung cancer and should at least think about um, lung cancer screening. We run a lung cancer screening uh, program through the uh, uh, section of thoracic surgery here at the medical center, um, and patients who want can call directly, and then if they meet the appropriate criteria, can be scheduled um, to have a um, screening study done. Once the scans are done, then the patients will be contacted afterwards and then uh, have an explanation of the findings and then what the recommendations would be based on those CT scans. Many of the insurers are not covering the quote um, screening CT scans. So what we've done is um, offered the scans at a cost of $250 to um, get the initial CT scan done. If there are findings uh, on that particular scan, then usually additional scans um, will be covered as uh, we're continuing to monitor um, findings on those scans. What we do know from screening is that the scans will find lots and lots of nodules within the lungs, but we know fortunately that a relatively small percentage of those will actually turn out to be cancers. So there are some negatives that go along with screening, but on the other hand, most of the cancers that are detected in screening tend to be early stage cancers, and those are usually much more amenable to a variety of different treatments. If the uh, scans are negative, then if the patients are current smokers, then we strongly recommend uh, smoking cessation and then do whatever we can do to get them into smoking cessation programs and really try to tie um, that into the screening part of it. So if the scans are negative, then we'll ask the patients um, to come back in a year and get a follow-up scan as long as they don't have any change in their symptoms. is probably very important to wind up having your cancer dealt with by a team of physicians uh, who have an expertise in dealing not only with the screening but also with the management and diagnosis of pulmonary nodules, um, the staging of lung cancer, and then be able to offer a variety of different um, treatments as it is fairly complex and um, varies highly from patient to patient as to what would be appropriate therapy.